In this demonstration, we are going to review the COVID-19 packages working on the Android app. If we have a look at the initial screen of the Android application, we can see that all of the various models of entry of the different packages that have been made are supported within the same app. This includes our tracker programs, case-based surveillance, contact registration and follow-up, and port of entry screening, the COVID-19 cases event line list, and the aggregate datasets, including both the surveillance and weekly provincial reporting datasets. For more information on each part of the package, please refer to the individual demonstrations that have been made. In this demonstration, we are going to review the use of tracker data entry on Android, as well as its offline functionality. Let's start by reviewing one of the tracker programs. We can use the case-based surveillance program as our example. When we select this program, we can see the initial search page as well as cases that have been registered in this program. We first see the search and case listing as the idea is to reduce duplicate data entry as much as possible. In the event a person already exists, then we should be able to find them. Let us enter some details and search for our case. In this scenario, no one was found that met our criteria, so we can proceed to register them and add them to our program. It will take the details we entered during search and also prompt us to fill in the details that have not yet been entered. For example, we can enter a date of birth, and see that the age is filled in for us based on this date. We can proceed to save this person and continue. After we select update, we can enter the first process of this program. Let us just enter some details for this individual quickly. As I enter data, if we were to compare this with the web version of the program, we would notice that the fields and logic introduced is exactly the same. The Android device has synchronized the entire configuration and everything is therefore kept the same. The Android device will eventually upload this information online when we are ready to submit it. We can complete this process and go back. We can now see we have completed information on the clinical examination and diagnosis process. We can see that if we wanted to add additional processes, the same structure for the package as is available on the web is also available on the Android device. We are also able to add relationships on Android. This means we can register contacts and perform follow-up on these contacts as well. We can do this by selecting the Relationships tab. Let us switch to the Contact Registration and Follow-up program and add in a new contact. Once we go through the process of entering their details and enrolling them in the program, it will take us back to the Relationships tab and we can see the new contact is now listed. If we leave this case's record, when we go back to our search page, we will see that our case has grey arrows next to it. We can also go back and see this beside the program itself. When we expand the list, we can see other cases are marked with green arrows. These arrows indicate our synchronization status. Android has the advantage of offering offline functionality for entering tracker data. As a result, 
information is initially stored locally on the device until it is uploaded using a strategy of your choice. This could be done manually one at a time or sent in bulk either on a schedule of your choosing or manually for example, all depending on your connectivity. Let us synchronize the single case with our online system. After it is synced, we can now see there are green arrows next to our case. And if we select the synchronization status, we can see this case has indeed been synced. To further demonstrate this offline functionality, I have turned off Wi-Fi and mobile data on my Android device. I can then search for an existing case. In this case, I'm using the generated case ID in order to find my case. This case has been downloaded to my device and I can continue to work with them offline. For example, I could perform an assessment of the health outcome of this case and proceed to fill in all these details offline. I can also register an entirely new case offline. This data is initially saved to my device when on Android. Going back to my initial page, when we have an internet connection, we could proceed to synchronize any of the cases that I've added. By doing it from this page, we will do a bulk action and upload any updated information all at once. You may also choose to have this automated as well. In this demonstration, we have shown examples of the COVID-19 packages running on Android. We hope this has helped to give you a brief understanding of how Android could potentially support your implementation. There are many considerations to make when deciding to use mobile data collection. For more detailed guidance on using Android, please refer to the Android documentation and do not hesitate to contact us on the community of practice.